Good morning. My name is Dr. Ivy Brennan. I'm a naturopathic doctor here in New York City, and we've been getting together more or less around 8 o'clock every morning for what I call breathing circle. And I'm back. Um, I was offline, as I always am, uh, 25 hours, and I'm back. And um, yeah, for myself, you know, again, like with this breathing practice, it's very much a time to get into the breath, to witness the breath, because one, we need to start sending more love and intention to ourselves, but also just giving ourselves that that time to, to reset and also just you know sharing sharing that um, sharing what we cultivate with with others, uh, especially specifically now. Uh, and yeah, so what I was talking about was yeah, with my twenty five hours, uh, you know, it's just such a beautiful gift that I can give myself and taking that time to turn off everything and go inward and just seeing like what, um, you know, what I'm, what I'm called to do. And as we, as we've been discussing a lot with this practice, the breath practice, not the, the 25 hours offline practice, um, with the breath practice, we're, we're just basically witnessing without judgment, um, just noticing how we're breathing. And I talk a little bit about some of the benefits of that. Yeah, it feels really good. But one of the things that the more that we can engage in what I call practices of non-judgment or non-judgment practices, uh, the more when, um, you know, things happen, we can continue to have this, this state of neutrality. So we don't necessarily have to be so swept up into chaotic or um, unuseful ways of thinking. And again, this isn't going to be something that happens right away. It definitely takes time, a lot of practice. But again, the more that we can recognize that we don't necessarily have to place judgment on ourselves, and we don't have to necessarily place judgment on a situation because we, we we never know really. Uh, I think every morning we sort of have like this. Um, you know, we have an agenda, which is fine. We have a schedule. Um, we have like a kind of an idea of like you know what we think is going to be happening throughout the day. But I think most of us, even in those days where they were quite simple, we can still kind of recognize that you know it didn't quite go according to plan and then some situations it's extremely not according to plan and that's okay and we can start to sort of recognize that that um you know things are always everything is constantly in motion and 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 why are that can be important specifically when we think about again this this breath practice of um constantly bringing ourselves back just experiencing what our breath is like without any kind of opinion or judgment we're just taking in information and you know what would that be like if throughout our day as things happen we were able to to step back and be a witness without judgment I mean we'll eventually have to act we'll eventually have to make a decision but what if without any like taking away the emotion from it so that we can really make clearer, better decisions. And that is one of the things that I hope are one of the benefits specifically, the more that we can engage in these types of practices, we notice where our minds start going and that we, we can constantly bring it back and constantly find this, this neutral state. And I don't know if that made any sense this morning but we're just gonna sit here um, again everything is just a suggestion um, you don't have to actually well I mean you have to breathe you have to sit or you can actually lie down um, I this morning um, I'm called to take this posture um, where I'm just actually having my um, I'm resting my right hand uh, just below the collarbone right here you don't have to take that posture. That's just what um, I'm called to do this morning. 
And for myself, I'm really going to tap in. I, I want to really be witnessing, tapping into my breath as a reminder of, of my neutral place, of my set point. Uh, and hopefully that will help you as well. So let's just sit here for, for a few minutes. When we take postures like this, when we put our hand on our heart, it can serve as a reminder that self-regulation doesn't have to come from the mind, it can come from the body. What if we actually used our body's information? I mean, yes, our brain is part of our body, but like, what if we used the rhythms, our different body rhythms, our sensations, rather than attaching an idea of what we need to be sensing, how we need to be feeling. What if our decision processes could come from physical sensations in the body? Just something Felt, I was called to say. I'm gonna let that go. I actually want to practice longer, but I know everyone wants to start their day. And again, like you can always definitely practice like at 8 a.m., but like you can continuously practice this throughout the day. I mean, if you wanted to go crazy, you could even start like doing it on the hour or something like that. <sighs> okay, well.
how I feel. I feel great. Uh, and if you live in New York, I think we're going to be having 70 degree sunny weather. So if you're safe and social distancing and, and want to take a solo walk, just even if it was for 10 minutes today, I think it's going to be beautiful out. Well, I'll be here again tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. My name is Dr. Ivy Brannon. I'm a naturopathic doctor. And thank you so much for joining me for some breath in this breathing circle. Have a wonderful day.